Hi, I'm Bob Alsop with Shop Saber CNC. Around here, they call me Router Bob. In this video, we're going to explore a concept we call Employee of the Month. We created this video to help you understand how the value of a CNC router fits in your business. So let's start with this. Let's say, let's say you start out and, and, and maybe you're a cabinet maker, maybe you, you're a one-man show, maybe you've got a couple of employees, maybe you work for somebody, but you got tired of working for the man and you wanted to do it on your own, all right? So that's how you got started. Now here's where you're at. You're basically taking the materials and you're creating the parts. And I would call you a cabinet maker. Now, when I say cabinet maker, I should be able to say, hey, I need a base cabinet of a certain size, and you should be able to make it. That's not too hard. But if I say I need a corner Lazy Susan cabinet, you should be able to make that too. That's what I call a cabinet maker, somebody that with the basic information, you can go make that. Okay, so how are you doing it? Well, you're probably using a table saw, maybe a drill, and a joiner, the manual stuff. The limitation that you have is you. It's how much can you get done in a workday. And you say, man, I like to grow my business, but I can't do it. I'm doing all I can do. All right, so wh how do you handle it? Well, you're going to have to, you're adding value. You're going to have to figure out how to add more value. All right, the logical thing is, well, if I hire another person, well, if I just hire a helper, that makes me a little more efficient, but it doesn't, doesn't make sense. I really need another cabinet maker so that person can create the value and then I can take that value and sell it. And that's how I grow my business. But that's not a very easy thing to do because it's hard to find those people. And if they're really good, they're probably going to do it on their own eventually. Now, the other thing you can do is use what we call the employee of the month. And that's the CNC router. So that's a shop saver router. And that machine basically creates the parts or adds the value. And in this video, we're going to look at that. The machine actually creates the value that a cabinet maker would create. And here's how it does that. You put a sheet of material on there and the machine cuts the parts out, drills all the holes, all the operations. And it's going to be a lot faster than you can do it on manual machines. So the machine is more than one cabinet maker. Now let's talk about what we try to do in the machine. I, I wanted to spec a machine out that would be perfect for this. And one of the things that was important to me was what we were going to be doing because part of what we do on the machine are shaker doors. And it's really difficult to cut those and get everything perfect. You almost always have to have a ball screw machine if you want everything perfect on the table. So that's why the IS series is part of our uh, machine tool router group, and that just means it has ball screws. Now, let's see, how are we going to do this? All right, so I'm going to take that machine, I'm going to lease it. I'm going to lease it for five years with no money down, and I'm planning on working the machine 160 hours a month, just like I would a worker. Mm -hmm. And when you add all that together, the machine costs $8.29 an hour. So we're going to base everything on how much time it takes to do something on a machine. Now, let me show you how we create this cabinet that we're going to actually demonstrate in our test. I've actually selected KCD software to actually run the front end. So it does the business stuff and it creates the files we need for the machine. And I selected it because it's really easy to use and so you hit the ground running with it. Now, let me show you how it works. There's a cabinet. It's 24 inches wide. It's got a drawer. We're going to have a dovetail drawer. And then it's got, uh, th these are actually shaker doors and there's actually an adjustable shelf inside. I go to parts, I select the cut list, which is a construction method, that's what it really is. I hit calculate. Okay, now it's calculating. Okay, so this is what the nest looks like. These are all the parts. You can see the operations on there. And of course, as you uh, do more and more cabinets, every sheet gets filled up. So uh, you get a much better material yield than you can do with the table saw. Now, I want to look at a couple of things. Let's look at view parts. And let's select uh, the left side. And so this is a drawing of what it actually created. Now, the reason I showed this is this happens to be an unfinished end. And you see these holes? The machine's going to drill those holes, and it's going to make it easier for you to assemble the cabinet because you're going to be able to screw it together. This, These are going to be dados, so those parts are going to fit a certain way, and the screws become your clamp. So it makes it much, much easier to actually build the cabinet. 
Now, when it created that nest, it also created the G code file, and this is what it looks like. That's the G code that tells the machine how to make those parts. Now all we need are the actual machine times for how long it takes to cut that cabinet. Then we can figure out what the cost is. Now I've asked Sean to actually output the cut files from his KCD setup that he uses in his company so it's representative of how he would build the cabinet. Now let's go make a cabinet. Hey, I'm Sean Morley. We're gonna cut a frameless base cabinet the same way we'd cut it in my cabinet shop. Before we get started, let's talk about the tools we're gonna to use. For sheet one, we're gonna use a 3 8 compression bit to cut out all the parts for it. The compression bit has both the up cut and a down cut on it and does a great job giving us a nice clean part. Tool two, we're gonna use a five millimeter brad bit. We use that for drilling all the, the holes for the shelves, for the system screws for the hinges and the slides. Tool three, we're gonna use a half inch two flute down cut bit. We'll use that to cut the back dados on the cabinet parts. And for tool four, we're gonna use a 3 8 two flute down cut bit. We'll use that to cut the half blind dado. All right, for sheet two, we'll be using three quarter MDF. We're gonna use a Vortex door bit. It's an inch and a quarter mission style bit. That'll be used to hog out all the material for the panel of the door. Tool two will be an eighth inch down cut bit. We're gonna use that to clean up the inside of the mission door. In tool three, we're gonna use a 3 8 compression bit to cut out all the door parts. And for sheet three, we're gonna use half inch Baltic birch plywood. We're gonna start out using a 3 8 down cut bit. We'll use that to clean up the tail part of the dovetails. Tool number two will be a quarter inch down cut bit. We'll use that for cutting the dados for the drawer bottom and for the tail parts. And for tool three, we're gonna use Vortex's dovetail bit, which gives us a great look in a half blind dovetail drawer. For tool four, we're gonna once again use a 3 8 compression bit to cut out all of our parts. All right, now that we've covered all that, let's talk about some of the benefits of a Becker pump and the high flow vacuum system on a Shop Saber machine. For sheet one, we're gonna use the whole vacuum. It's gonna do a great job holding everything down. For sheet two and sheet three, we're gonna use remnants of, from a previous project we've done, and we're gonna be able to shut off certain zones and direct that vacuum right where we need it to go. It's gonna do a great job holding down the small drawer parts and everything else we need. All right, now that we covered all the tools, let's put that vacuum pump to use.
just pulled the last parts off the machine. The quality on these look great. The edge quality is awesome. Same with the melamine parts. We're gonna take those back to the shop, get them edge banded, bring them back here, and let's get this cabinet assembled. Sean, this cabinet is absolutely beautiful. Hey, Router Bob, I think it turned out great. You know, just as I expected, it's the same way we build them in the shop. One of the many styles we do. This one's, we got the shaker doors. Uh, we did put a, a dovetail drawer in there. And you can see the quality this machine puts out, the ball screws. I mean, it barely needs sanding. The machining is beautiful. Now this is a cabinet you would sell to a customer, correct? Absolutely. Yep. That's great, that's great. Now, I heard you uh, named a new employee of the month. How'd the numbers work out on it that? It worked out really nice. In fact, it cost $2.71 for the time the machine used to cut this entire cabinet. Sure. Doors, drawers, and everything. Now I know why we sell so many of these machines. It's one of the reasons I love it so much. I mean, it's, it's really helped our business quite a bit. And you know, one big benefit, after five years, that's free. Wow, that's great. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need more information, you can contact us at shopsaver.com. And be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching.